In this chemical kinetics podcast about small oxidation mechanisms, we will focus on the methane mechanisms. We will look at its behavior with respect to chemical structure and with respect to the physical conditions under which it runs. Combustion mechanisms have a clear hierarchical structure. At the base is the hydrogen mechanism, where many of the critical radicals driving ignition are formed, such as OH. A critical sub-mechanism for hydrocarbons, including the methane mechanism to be discussed here, is the carbon monoxide sub-mechanism. All the hydrocarbon mechanisms, including methane, produce intermediates that react further with these sub-mechanisms. In order to understand the multitude of hydrocarbon reactions, it is useful to know at least some of the basic Lewis bonding types of carbon. Hydrocarbon mechanisms are essentially many combinations of transformations between these states. The carbon has four electrons available for bonding in the valence shell. The main stable carbon bonded states have either four single bonds, a double bond with two single bonds, or a triple bond with a single bond. The simple radicals can be the same configurations, just where one of the bonds is replaced by an unbounded bonded electron. When the carbon atom has two unbonded electrons, the carbon can be in two states, a singlet or a triplet, both having single bonds. Methane oxidation, in detail, can be complex with hundreds of reactions. Many mechanisms exist in the literature, but all have the same major features. In this slide, we see the backbone of the methane oxidation under high temperature conditions. After an initial abstraction of hydrogen, and with the addition of oxygen and the loss of hydrogen, an aldehyde is formed. This aldehyde decomposes to carbon monoxide. Through the carbon monoxide submechanism, the final equilibrium products are made. A significant side reaction to the main path is further abstractions through triplet and singlet CH2 radicals which, with subsequent addition of oxygen through an OH or through water, form an aldehyde within the backbone mechanism. From CH3, a methyl radical, this set of side reactions go through C2OH as an intermediate to the aldehyde. The C2OH is formed through the addition of OH radicals with a simultaneous loss of hydrogen. Two significant paths appear in the low temperature, meaning less than 1500 degrees Kelvin, oxidation of methane. One is the recombination reaction to form C2H6. This is why the propane submechanism, although a larger product, is important to the methane oxidation. Another submechanism involves the direct addition of OH to form CH3OH and its subsequent oxidation to aldehyde. As we have seen, aldehydes are an important intermediate from hydrocarbons to CO to CO2. This shows the electron structure of the conversion of an aldehyde to the radical through abstraction or loss of hydrogen. The aldehyde starts as a double bond with two single bonds, one of which is a hydrogen. The hydrogen is abstracted or lost, and the alde aldehyde radical is produced with a doubly bonded carbon with a single electron radical and a single bond. The main driving force of combustion reactions is the number of radicals in the system. The following are the major steps in CO oxidation, made up of branching, propagating, and termination steps. The two propagating steps of the CO mechanism produce CO2, the final product. But what the importance is, at the same time, the number of radicals, in fact important radicals such as H, an OH in the system has not been diminished, hence its propagation. Further propagation and branching are found in the two important reactions in the hydrogen mechanism. It reacts with the original oxidizer, O2, react to produce radicals important to the two CO oxidation reactions, namely OH and HO2, one of which is a branching reaction bringing more radicals into the system. The co this complementary set of reactions substantiates the observation that H is the catalyst for CO oxidation.